Hello, I'm Howard Berger. I'm back for another CTE video called CTE, CTE Aiming Slow Mo. Um, had a lot of feedback from the last uh, videos and um, the step-by-step -step video uh, I think is one of the better videos. So that's the one you should concentrate on. It really gives you an understanding of it. But there are those that uh, came back with some questions and um, obviously there's different uh, levels of play. So some people are more advanced and they could pick it up, some are not. Uh, so what I'll do in this slow-mo version is just try to really slow it down a little bit in terms of understanding and uh, hopefully it'll get through. Uh, as you can remember, uh, the object ball is broken up into three parts. The stripe on the, on, the, on the side would be, uh, let's say, C, this would be B, and this would be A. And A represents a 15% cut, B is in the middle here, and that would represent 30. On the, on the other side of the, uh, of the line would be 45. There is, of course, a, a one ace mark on both sides, which is between the edge and, and that uh, line right here, and that would be for deep cuts. Okay, here you have bridge lengths of the uh, base of your hand to the object ball. If it's a, it shouldn't be um, pretty much the average I use is six to seven inches away. So just uh, keep in mind that and here you have the aim lines, which is the A, B, and C, or 15, 30, and 45 degree perceptions. You have a one eighth mark on both sides of the ball, which indicates a, a very deep cut. So when you're aiming at uh, an object ball, you're going to use these aim lines, but then you're going to shift over to a center cue ball. So these lame aim lines are, are basically used when you're in offset position. That's a half a tip off, off center. And you're going to use those aim lines to give you an idea of the angle of the cut to the pocket. So if it's a straight up shot, it's usually going to be 15 to 30. In fact, most shots on the table are 15 to 30 in any case. Uh, sometimes you get a deep cut, which is 45 and then a 1 8. But these are uh, aim line perceptions. And uh, you'll see the videos, and I'll explain it on the videos itself. OK, well, we're here to start. This is a, this is a actually a retake, and it's an edited video because uh, the last one didn't come out good. So if you've seen this before, it's just another version of it. Uh, so here we have a, a center cue ball line to a left object ball edge. It's a half a tip offset to B. So in other words, you're going to first your first line visual line is going to be a, a center cue ball to the left edge. Your second line is going to be aiming at the B, and you. From the offset, in other words, you're a half tip offset aiming it to be, and then you go to center cue ball and then shoot. This is a shot that's uh, kind of aiming towards the side, but uh, we're going to put it in the corner and um, this can, would be a 1 8th, so it's a center cue ball line to the left object ball edge. Offset that 1 one eighth spot, so in other words, you're looking at the, you're aiming actually at the 1 8th and then going to center. You see the, the little pivot there, from right to left. Uh, many shots on this uh, on this video are going to be relatively easy, but it, because I really wanted to, uh, this is the slow mo version of this. I really wanted to slow it down a little bit so people understand just the concept of how this of how the CTE works. Uh, keep in mind that this is filmed on an Android Galaxy Nine. Uh, people tell me, well, the angle and this and that. It's just uh, not the case, and the uh, software and editing stuff is like ten years old. That was a bank. If you could use a B on a bank, I'm not big on banks. Uh, I do use them, of course, with CTE, but it's kind of hit and miss. Um, sometimes I want to get into a, a like a deep cut like this. I'll, I'll go for a one a one eighth uh, on a deep cut, and if it's moderate, I'll, I'll use a C or a B, and they work. Why they work? I don't know. I'm not big on the on the CTE uh, banks as yet. Straight shots are straight shots. You could use you know whatever tools you like, but on CTE, you aim 
kind of the uh, A, you're looking at the, the same method, you know, send the cue ball to edge, but then you, you're going to aim at the A from the offset. So you have a tip offset aiming at the A, and then you move over to the center. It gives you a better lineup, I think, in terms of getting that ball in. So here we have a, a standard kind of shot, very very simple shot. But just again, this is to show you the uh, just the concept, how you line up. You know, your hands a little bit back, you step back, you look at that center cue ball to edge object ball, shift it over. This is a B, and, and just put it away. Very simple. I like uh, the rail shots like this because it gives you a good angle in terms of showing you guys the, uh, uh, you know, the, the technique. And keep in mind that the tripod's right behind me. And it's a little tough sometimes to, uh, you know, people want a different angle and stuff. It's just not the case. It's very hard to set it up like that. And um, you know, I do my best in terms of getting that line up. And this is why I do a lot of rail stuff. See, I'm shifting over. This is a B, straight up. These balls are parallel on the dot. Um, it's kind of a standard uh, B. When you're inside, you could, you could use the A or B. It's A from the inside, B from the outside. They're both exactly the same. Either way, you're going to aim. That was a B, put it right away. Now you could sweep from the left side and use the B for a bank shot. This is something you have to really work with. You know, speed, of course, is uh, important, and the table conditions, is, it's different. So that's something you really have to work on on the table that you have. A nice shot to the corner. The ball's probably in the middle of the table, or it looks just about in the middle. Um, I'm going to be aiming for, when I get to the table, I'm going to look at the center cue ball to the left object well edge. Then I'm going to look at the B, and I'm aiming at the B, actually, which is the 30% perception from the offset. Don't forget, when you're looking at that, that's aiming it to be from the offset. So you have to tip offset, then you just move the, from the backhand, move the, the backhand and, and put it right into the center. Don't move the, the first hand, the base hand, leave it there. Another rail shot, very similar shot as before. Lining up that uh, set the cue ball to edge, left edge in this case. Try to get your left foot behind the cue ball, kind of you know work to to get that line up. And once you get that line up, then you can move right into the shot. Um, eventually, you don't even need pivots. You just could line up and and you just shoot that beep. It's and it's a, it's it's a done deal. But here you do, you could do the pivot. I do pivots when it's a really uh, tough shot. I don't do pivots on, on basic shots. Uh, but when you start u u utilizing CTE, you can you get a handle on the concept quickly, and then uh, after a while, you just move right into the shot. There's a kind of a basic side pocket. These lines are all visual lines. I mean, you could, uh, I'm kind of measuring them, you know, with a stick and everything. But when you look at the lines, you know, you're looking at it visually. I don't do too many long shots, but the long shots are the same. Uh, there's no difference, so I try to keep it down to, to short shots. Um, this is this, basically the technique is the same. I'm still looking at the, uh, in this case, a, a B. I'm going to aim at the uh, B from the offset, put, bring it over to center shoot the ball in. CT allows you to uh, do a lot more stuff on the table than you regularly would probably do. Now here's a, uh, uh, this is a bank and it's, it's a good show, a way to show you the, um, see I hit the point and this kind of gives you an idea of the perception. If the perception is off you can miss the shot so it's important to know the perception of the angle to the pocket. I'm trying it again. I hit the exact same point. 
So I thought I said, well, it's maybe a little deeper cut than, than it should be. So I'm going to go for a C to make the shot. This is where you have to really kind of practice up and, and kind of get a handle on those things to see how, how it go, goes in. This is a shot to the left-hand corner. Standard kind of shot, lining up the center cue ball to object ball right edge. Moving over, it looks like a 1 8. And I'm going to go bring the, uh, off from the offset, looking at the 1 8, and then I'm, I'm pivoting up to, from left to right. The pivot is how you want to pivot. I just scratched, but big deal. When you when you're pivoting, you you can pivot according to how you shoot. Some some to me it's natural. I just pivot from either direction. Um, I'm lining up right here from the back of the cue ball, about you know five five to seven inches. Uh, I'm kind of lining it up. Uh, on the pivot, try different pivots from left to right or right to left. I think it's almost natural that you're going to pivot. It's usually the opposite of the of the cut. Um, so. It's just something that I think comes natural. Of course, it comes into play if you're left eye dominant or right eye dominant, or if you're left handed, right handed. So I really like to pigeonhole anybody that you have to do it a certain pivots from left to right. You just have to do what's comfortable. When you're moving into the shot, you'll kind of figure it out. If your offset is off, you'll see it right away. See, I'm offset for the B. I turn to center. Done. Uh, kind of a little shot to the side. Concept is the same. You just approach the ball. I'm lining up. I pivot over. Hit on the B. That's over. I threw out a few balls just to, you know, get, just could do a little run. I don't want to do a whole rack. What you have here is uh, a couple of balls, and and you know the first ball is relatively straight. Most of your shots are not that difficult. But you're still going to line up the A on this, just a straight shot. But you line up the A. 15 ball is next. Same story. Straight shot right into the corner. But I'm still going to line up the A, pull it over to center, and shoot. I moved it over a little bit. And I was looking at the 7 to take. But then I felt that I'd be going down the table too much. So I decided on the 6 ball. And the seven ball is relatively easy right into the side. Just uh, backed it up a little bit. So now you come back into the uh, CTE mode uh, a little bit more. Don't forget I, I used ghost ball as well. But here's the CTE shot. I just uh, point, shift it over to B. A little offset. These shots are uh, parallel. It's on the dot, the cue ball's on the same dot, on the, uh, one, one diamond behind, and uh, lined up uh, straight up. It's a little like of an angle. So when you come in, you just line that center cue ball to the edge. Now you go into your offset position. Half a tip offset. So I'm going from right to left. Go offset, go to center, this is a situation where you're, uh, you kind of ran out of all the uh, solid balls, you're in an 8-ball game, the 8-ball the has to go into the corner, so you're going to do the same thing, center cue ball line to the right edge, offset 1-8. So I come in, I'm going to do that first line, and then I'm going to hit that 1 8 marker. I'm aiming there, and I just go to center. Uh, same April game, another uh, kind of a shot right into the corner. This would be uh, center uh, cue ball 
to the right edge and then aiming at the 1 8 on the right edge side. So I'm going to get into my offset position. From the offset, I'm looking at the 1 8 I'll turn it to the right, to center. And there you go. Thanks for watching and um, appreciate the comments. And I hope this video sounds better than the last one. Take care. Mini Beat Counter on eBay.